Well, hey guys, we're in Elwood Cemetery in Memphis again, and today we're going to introduce you to Confederate General James Ronald Chalmers. To be honest, he's not one of my most favorite, but he's a Mississippian nonetheless, and I think his story needs to be told. Chalmers was born on January 11th, 1831, and he commanded both infantry and cavalry during the Civil War. He was promoted to Colonel of the 9th Mississippi in 1861. In February of 1862, he was promoted to Brigadier General. I tend to think he received this promotion largely because of political and, well, economic influence, although he and his command did perform fairly well at Shiloh. He went with Bragg into Kentucky in 1862, and in 63, at the request of Pemberton, he was given command of the 5th Mississippi District, basically the northernmost portion of Mississippi, where his home was located, by the way. Even though Chalmers and Bedford Forrest didn't get along very well, he became part of Forrest Cavalry in 64, and I think he's largely responsible for many of the atrocities that occurred at Fort Pillow. Nonetheless, he played an integral part in forest campaigns in West Tennessee, Kentucky, and North Mississippi. Chalmers was elected to the Mississippi State Senate in 1875, and in 1876, he was elected from Mississippi's 6th Congressional District to the United States Congress. He served in Congress until March 3, 1881. A Republican, James Lynch, successfully contested this latest election, and in April of 82, the House voted to seat him instead. After the 84 election, he left politics and returned to the practice of law. He moved his law practice to Memphis, where he died in 1898. There is much more to unpack in the story of James Ronald Chalmers, but like I said, since he's not one of my most favorite Mississippians, and frankly, I find him to be arrogant and entitled, we're going to just stop there. I hope you've learned a little bit, and maybe we'll do some further research. Thank you.